Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Commerce. What will be the government's response to the report of the Capital Market Development Task Force? Honourable Simon Power. Speaker, today I announced the release of the government's action plan responding to the recommendations of the Capital Market Development Task Force. The plan sets out the government's response to each of the task force's 60 recommendations, what action the government is proposing to take, by whom and by when. Uh, we are committed to supporting the task force's key recommendations. Supplementary question to the Minister. How will the government balance the need to encourage greater investment in our capital markets with the need to protect investors, and particularly mum and dad investors who may be new to the market? Honourable Simon Mr Speaker, uh, we will continue to work to ensure our capital markets create safe opportunities for retail investors, provide investments uh, that are easy to understand and enforce these investor rights. Uh, two steps, uh, key steps that we'll be taking are as recommended by the task force, we will be considering consolidating parts of the Companies Office, Securities Commission and NZX's regulatory functions into a new market conduct regulator. This new regulator would have a much greater emphasis on enforcement of our securities laws. The second key step is assigning a formal coordination uh, role uh, for financial and investment literacy to myself as Minister of Commerce. Leanne Dalzell. Speaker, does the Minister stand by his statement last year that the Government would demonstrate how important they regarded the recommendations by the Prime Minister leading the response? And if so, what does that mean in light of him announcing the, recommendations, the response to the recommendations today and leadership on the Finance Hub recommendations being allocated to Gerry Brownlee? The Honourable Simon Powell. Uh, Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister did lead the government's response by, uh, by uh, referring to it in the Prime Minister's statement at the start of the year and its importance to the government's agenda. Uh, the detail uh, of the proposals uh, produced largely fall within the ambit of the commerce portfolio uh, and that is why the announcement was made by me on behalf of the government today. Further supplementary to the Minister. How does the government's response fit into the Prime Minister's goal to lift the long-term performance of the economy to make New Zealand a more prosperous country capable of providing well-paid jobs? Uh, Mr. Simon Speaker, Mr. Speaker, business needs capital to grow and the markets are a vital source of financing uh, those businesses. By making the capital markets work better, we will see greater amounts of investment flowing uh, into them. This growth will bring more jobs and with respect higher paying jobs. But the task force also identified opportunities New Zealand could pursue, such as becoming a hub for managed fund administration. The government is pursuing that initiative, and officials working with private sector experts will report back to ministers on this in May of this year. Question number two, the Honourable Annette King. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question